Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny, and I have a thrift store, eBay, and Walmart haul to share with you all today. Before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting me over the last four years. Uh, if you don't know already, through Instagram and Facebook, I made a little post, and I just uh, made about a little over a thousand subscribers, which is super, super cool, because considering I'm pretty ordinary even outside of this, and... You know, I never thought, even in four years, that I would ever reach something like this, because, you know, I just started out doing this, showing off, you know, what I like to collect, and then it turned into, you know, thrifting, and all my, the haul videos with all the stuff that I love to collect and find, and sharing all that stuff with you, and I never dreamt that it would get to this point. I mean, I was even shocked when I hit, like, 100 subscribers, and that was, that was pretty big for itself. And it's nice to be able to have another... Um, source of contact, especially when, you know, things are going pretty rough. I mean, you guys have been with me through, you know, uh, this move that we just had a few months ago, you know, a couple of deaths in the family, and you've been with me through all my highs and lows, and, you know, that does mean a lot. And just to think that over a thousand people enjoy what I do and what I'm sharing with you all, that's pretty impressive, I think. And it, it is really nice to be able to put up a video and receive all the nice comments that I get and, you know, just everything that's been going on in my life, being able to share that with you all and to know that I have support is pretty incredible. So I just wanted to say that and now let's get into the haul video here. Alright, from Walmart I just got a couple of um, shirts, like I don't have enough, but I really thought they were cool, and especially for the holidays, now that I'm working again, we're going with themes, and you know, you gotta get into the spirit, especially for the customer satisfaction. I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear this one, but I just liked it anyway. So this is a Dr. Seuss's Grinch shirt. It's actually much darker in person. Walmart was asking $7.50 for this one, which was a little higher, I think. But, you know, it is a name brand. It's uh, The Grinch by Dr. Seuss, so I guess this was done by that, uh, the the company, so I can understand why Walmart was charging seven fifty for it. I mean, if you go to Kohl's and you see the same exact shirt, they might charge fifteen, twenty dollars, maybe. So I guess seven fifty wasn't too much to ask. And then running with the Christmas theme, I did, the reason I'm showing this is because it looks very retro and it it's, could be deemed pretty tacky. It's a ugly Christmas sweater shirt, and this one was made by Fruit of the Loom. So it's not like it's any specific brand, much like the Grinch shirt that I'm showing you. This one was actually relatively inexpensive. This one was only, let's see, four ninety seven. I don't know why my camera decided not to focus that, but I really like the kitsch look of it. You know, you've got the really ugly Christmas trees and the abominable snowman. You've got a snowman throwing a snowball at an elf, and you've got cats riding in a train. So, of course... If this were really a sweater, I would never wear it because I don't like sweaters and I think they're ugh. But yeah, I thought those were really, really cool. Can't wait to wear them this holiday season. From eBay, the one thing that I got, something that I hadn't owned or gotten in a while, and it's this 1950 Coke serving tray. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, doesn't he already have that one already? But this one is actually different compared to the other one that I have. This one is known as the solid background. As you can see, the, back, uh, the color is blue, and on the other one, it's green. This one is not screened, so this one is much more valuable because of that. So I'm excited to own that, and I only paid, I think, 12 bucks for it, so that was a really good deal on my part. Alright, now let's get to the thriftage. So, I think the very first thing that I spotted in, at Goodwill was this um, really nice uh, green, I guess it's embossed glass, or raised glass uh, mug. It doesn't have a name or a mark or anything on it, but I found out through some research that it's French glass. I paid a buck fifty nine for it. After I bought it, I started to have a little bit of remorse about buying it, but, you know, I can always throw that with all my other Christmassy stuff. And it's... Uh, raised glass all over, like on the stem it has holly leaves, you've got a, a raised Santa face on here, and just um, holly leaves and berries all around, so, you know, that caught my eye, and I was like, you know, that's not too much to ask, especially for a mug like this, 
I did look them up to see if they're going for anything, and as usual, mugs like this just don't sell for much because it's pretty heavy, and to ship something like this is a lot. But that's for my own personal collection. Okay. Oh, from the same Goodwill, I managed to snatch three of these um, chalkware birds. There's no mark on them. Uh, I paid 59 cents each. I don't know if I said that already. So there were three. And the reason that I snatched them was because I was looking them up online and I found that if you have a set of these and they, if you have a set and they tend to do better. Now each of them do have flaws, like as you can see the, uh, this one's got some chipping on its tail. All of them have minor chips here or there. Some of them are a lot harder to see than others. Actually, they're actually marked. I didn't even realize that. They're marked 1970. So I'm going to list these for probably maybe $20 for the three of them. Because I figure, you know, you could have them um, displayed on the wall, one up high, and then one in the middle, lower, and then a little bit lower. So I thought for 59 cents a piece, that's not bad. And they are made by Miller Studios. So maybe that'll help sell them quickly. And you know, we're in Q4 now, so... Someone can get a good gift. So for a little over, or close to $2, that wasn't too much to ask, I don't think. Okay, I think that was it from Goodwill. Oh, no, that's not it from Goodwill, sorry. So, as you all know, I picked up these uh, votives. And these actually, let me see, they're the same style, but I think one of them's a little different. So I got this one at Goodwill for 59 cents. Or actually, I got both of these, these two from Goodwill for 59 cents. And then at the Salvation Army, I got this one for a quarter. So, as you all know, I bought those milk glass ones for, I think, 99 cents for the four of them. And I actually sold them for $20 and free shipping. So, that was really good. And I didn't want to pick up the, uh, the amber or the avocado green. Because I didn't, I don't think that that glass is very trendy anymore. So I snatched the really nice um, frosted blue. Well, they're not frosted. The color, I guess, could just be deemed frosted blue. So I think I'm going to sell these as a three. Maybe I'll do 20 bucks their best offer, and I'll offer free shipping. Because this is, again, less than $2 investment, so I'll make some money even with the shipping. All right, another little small tchotchke that I picked up at the Salvation Army is this little uh, snowman figurine. Um, someone has it marked 1975 on the bottom. I personally think it's older, like maybe the late 60s. I'm sorry guys, my hands are pretty shaky today. Stupid hands. And he was marked a quarter. So I picked him up, and I actually have a pin that's exactly the same figurine. And I like that. Okay. Also, in one of the miscellaneous Christmas bins, I found this really, really groovy, uh, pack of Hallmark cards with a wreath and holly leaves. Now typically these aren't my taste at all, but I really really liked the color of the box. It's that lime green from the 70s. And I looked them up online and again they don't go for very much, but I only paid um, I only paid 50 cents for them and I thought that would be a really cool addition to all my Christmas stuff. Now also I uh, was roaming around the Christmas aisle. One of the great things about the Salvation Army that I go to is that it's a lot of local donations, and I live in somewhat of a older area. Well, we live in a newer development, but in the downtown part of where I live, it's a lot of older homes and stuff, so people are donating stuff from leftover garage sales, or maybe they're just doing cleanouts and they're donating it to all the thrift stores. So I found this really, really cool Santa Claus. Old, of course. I think he has a plastic body and a plastic face. He's missing the little pom-pom on his uh, hat, so I might have to go to the dollar store and see if I can get one. He was only... Let's turn it around here. I only paid a buck fifty for him. I love him, and I can't wait to put him out with all my other uh, Christmas decorations. All right, and as you all know, I've kind of fallen away apart from the... Uh, or, actually, not fallen apart. I've drifted away from the uh, Fisher-Price stuff. But when I see the... Uh, Fisher-Price buildings that they made back in the 60s and 70s. I jump on them, especially if they're cheap. 
So this is the schoolhouse, and I don't... Oh, this is from 1971. And it is complete. It has the bell, which I'm sure you guys can hear ringing. And it's got uh, pieces of the uh, paper missing, and the stickers and all, are all dirty and everything. But that, to me, signals that it was really well loved. And, whoops, and this cost me three fifty. They had another one there, but it was missing this part right here, this door that opens up. And they were asking $1.50 for it. So I'm glad I got the one that had everything with it. And I just love the graphics on these old toys because they don't make them like this anymore. Alright, and the last thing that I picked up... Oh, not the last thing. Sorry, I got two more items. So this is a... I don't even know what year this thing is from, but... It's called a battery-operated Humi air cooler. I paid $1.50 for it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. I mean, this is, like, pretty outdated technology. I mean, look at the colors of that brown and that tan. Um, it is battery-operated. There were batteries in it when I found it, but thankfully there was no corrosion or there wasn't any corrosion. So I'm going to probably go buy some C batteries. Maybe I'll just run to the dollar store and see if I can grab a couple C batteries. And then I'll test it make sure it works. Um... I did look, try to look it up on eBay. I couldn't find any. Or actually, I found one. But I, I don't know. I decided to take a chance with it. So I'm going to test it, see if it works. And the fact that it has the original box will help it sell, I think. So I will definitely let you guys know what the dealio is with this. All right, and the last thing that I picked up that's going to be for sale is this... Um, see if I can make up the name here. It's by Dakin. It's a Speedy Gonzales um, rubber toy. I paid 50 cents for it. And I looked it up on eBay and one just sold for about $24.99 in free shipping. So that's what I'm going to list them for. And I don't know if I've told you all this, but um, I've kind of switched gears in terms of shipping now. According to uh, CN Save, she's found that if you do free shipping on items that are first class, you tend to drive your sales up. So I've done that, and I've actually noticed that sales have actually picked up because of that. So anything that's first class, or that is under 13 ounces, you should definitely start charging free shipping because you'll boost sales, I think. So I think that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Go ahead and also click that bell that's right by the subscribe button. I keep forgetting to mention this. If you are interested in um, seeing when a new video of mine pops up, just go ahead and click that bell. Also, if you want to follow me on other social media, that's also in the description box below. And thank you all so much for watching.